How did the Cavendish banana come to dominate the globe? And will it be around for much longer? The evolution of the banana. Each year, humans consume an estimated 100 billion bananas. Making bananas one of the world's largest crops after wheat, rice, and corn. But bananas weren't always big, bright, and yellow. They likely got their start as a browner, smaller fruit around 8,000 BC, grown only in Southeast Asia and Papua New Guinea. Farmers took the early species of banana, like the Musa acuminata and the Musa balbiciana, and crossbred different strains to produce a more sustainable fruit that contained fewer seeds. But only in the 15th century did bananas cross the Atlantic, transported by Portuguese colonists who planted the bananas in Latin America and the Caribbean. Now, over 80% of the world's banana exports come from those regions. In the mid-19th century, helped in part by Jules Verne's descriptions of the exotic fruit in Around the World in 80 Days, people started going bananas for bananas. But the legendary Cavendish banana had not caught on just yet. The softer and creamier Gros Michel variety was the pick of the crop and according to ads, they tasted out of this world. However, in the 1920s, a fungus called Fusarium race 1 ran rampant through the Gros Michel banana, causing the variety to go almost completely extinct. People began turning to the Gros Michel's cousin, the Cavendish, as an alternative by the 1950s. Named after William Cavendish, an avid horticulturist and the sixth Duke of Devonshire, who acquired an early specimen of that species. But maybe you shouldn't get too familiar with this variety either. The Cavendish bananas don't produce usable seeds, so each new banana tree is actually a clone from the stem of the one before it. This means the new epidemic of Fusarium race 4 is spreading rapidly, devastating crops across Asia, Africa, and Australia. The UN is worried it might soon spread to South America, threatening the $36 billion industry and a vile food supply. Will the Cavendish survive, or will a new type of banana be forced to take its place? Go bananas in the comments below, and let us know what you think.